Welcome to Schools Challenge TV. Coming up, we've got shiny new guns. We're at Browning's 2015 press launch. You have probably seen the difference. Sporting shotguns look like shotguns. Trap shooting guns with their high ribs look like space guns. Browning has surprised the world of clay shooting by moving firmly into the space gun, sorry, trap shooting market. I'm at a journalist day hosted by Browning to find out more. It's a, an area we've really been absent from for, for many years, I'd even say decades really. We've never really had a really strong competitive trap gun. Uh, and now we've got three, so uh, we've launched the Pro Trap this year and uh, it consists of a high rib gun and two low rib guns, one's a fixed choke, one's a uh, multi choke gun. Uh, but yeah, both look absolutely fantastic. We launched them at the shooting show back in uh, February and we've had great reviews since then. And uh, I think the people that have tried it have said we've, you know, we've really got it just right and the price point is obviously very, very aggressive uh, at sort of around three and a half thousand for the high rib and just under two, uh, three thousand for the uh, low rib gun. There's a certainly there's, there's lots of programs taking place, you know, Olympic pathways, etc. So a lot of young people are getting into the sport and going towards the trap discipline. So it's a, a nice time for us to, to come in again. Funnily enough, a lot of people have said the low rib is, is ideal for sporting as well. So it's almost like a multi-function gun. But uh, uh, again, the price point and the specification. You look at eight DS chokes in the box. You've got balancing on the the stock and the foot and the uh, the barrel weight system. Um, it's a lovely grade 5 uh, trap stock on there as well with a black action so it, it looks the business and for under £3,000 it's a very attractive price as well, a lot of uh, specification for the money. The new trap guns launch into a market dominated by the likes of Parazzi and Krikov. Oh yeah, definitely uh, going against uh, these brands, also obviously other brands that are uh, in this market, in this trap uh, market. We've been a bit out of that market for many years. Right now we're coming back on the 725 platform, which is very successful in the sporting uh, market. And we want to attack the trap market with very high-end, uh, really well-made uh, trap guns. When you launch a new gun, you need endorsements, and not just from the reptiles who are here today. It comes best from sports stars. So far, uh, we don't have any, uh, any uh, professional shooter working with us on the trap uh, uh, market. Would it make a difference if you, got a, if you got a gold medal at the Olympics? Does that really help? I guess so, uh, yes, it gives uh, a lot of uh, visibility for the guns, but as I said, it's, it's quite difficult uh, to move straight away into, uh, directly into this uh, professional shooting uh, market, but uh, definitely we have a gun that could, uh, that could uh, uh, obtain this type of level. Of, of, uh, it is going to be a long-term process. Coming up with the right product has taken time too. We took few years to launch uh, a brand new product for, for trap shooting and we know that trap shooters uh, like to, to set yes, all the parameters and uh, so uh, we have the uh, pro balance system in the stock and in the barrel which allow uh, the shooters to, to adapt the, the, the balance uh, precisely with a system of little weights to put inside the stock or at the barrel, some, uh, some tungsten plates to, to, to fix in the barrel. Um, with the, the B725 Pro Trap uh, iRib, there is a triple trigger system uh, with three positions of the trigger and three different kinds of design of the trigger. So we have also the, the disc uh, which is uh, adjustable, uh, which also allows the, the shooter to precisely adapt the, the shotgun to, to his morphology, to his, uh, to his body. So that was the point to, to give to the shooters the, the opportunity to fix all the different parameters and that's what we have with the B725 Pro Trap and uh, that's the yes, the Rolls Royce of the of the trap shotguns actually so that was the, the goal of this, uh, this uh, new, new product. The high rib is not the only new or improved shotgun on show today. 
all the 725 range or the 75 game guns have got a, an, uh, an upgraded walnut. Uh, there's no mechanical changes to the guns at all, it's purely cosmetic. The cosmetic changes to the guns this year get the approval of Basque's representative. The wood looks absolutely rather special on it. It's got a lovely balance to it, which is nice. Browning wants to make sure we see a variety of targets today so we can test a variety of their guns. Right, sir. Moving on. Jules Wicker has been writing about shotguns for years. I ask him if Browning's launches this year are cosmetic tweaks or if they represent anything more substantial. We were looking forward to some of the cosmetic tweaks though. The, the 20 gauge uh, B725 UK Hunter, now coming out in a black action with, with gold game birds on it, um, a higher grade wood, I think that's going to attract people to that gun who might not have gone for it in its plain form. And I'm sure there are other things to come there. I think there's going to be some special things in the next year or two as well. Um, the biggest thing for me is the Morokus. Um, those Morokus were, were spectacular last year in the 12 gauge. In the 20 gauge this year, um, that's really out of my price bracket, but I'm very tempted. I think a lot of people are going to see that as, as a great way to start the shooting season. I really like the new Black Edition 725. Feels very, very nice, and I'm about to go and have a, a shot with it. Um, but it certainly looks good, uh, and it looks like, uh, you know, the new wood, it looks exceptionally fine done. So personally, I'm looking for an over under, but uh, for clay shooting, really, um, not for game shooting, um, but for clay shooting, I think it would be. We're in a very privileged position with the exchange rates at the moment. We can actually invest in the appearance of the gun. We can put a higher grade walnut stock on the, on the grade ones now, which uh, we now call a, a premium model, because we've put a grade three woodwork on there. You can really see the difference between the older Grade 1 models and the Grade 3 models. There's a huge difference in the, the quality of the woodwork. And we've maintained the price, so it's a great offer for the consumer at the moment. Next up, it's the Schools Challenge News, read by me. Congratulations to George Digweed on winning his 24th world title by taking the 2015 World English Sporting Championship at the South Florida Shooting Ground. The defending champion won with a nine-point margin from American Wendell Cherry with England team top shot Nick Hendrick one point further back in third place after the Super Final. Breed and Festival weekend in Tewkesbury is now a few days away on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of May 2015. The weekend consists of a practice day for the Schools Challenge competition on Saturday. The Breed and Schools Challenge takes place on the Sunday where the champion shot out of the first two TSC events of the year will be decided, Breed and the Oxford Schools Challenge. On the Monday there is a 50 bird sporting competition, Browning Rabbit Mania, the Rosini Classic, Have a Go Stands, Gun Village and Fate including a parachute jump. For more information visit oxfordgumcompany.co.uk. The Oxford Gun Company is pleased to announce that it will be hosting the Browning Open 2015 again this year on Saturday the 30th of May. The competition consists of a 100 bird sporting and there are more prizes up for grabs this year, as there are more classes this year. Entries must be pre-booked. Entry forms can be found at oxfordguncompany.co.uk. It's not long now until the English Open Sporting at High Lodge in Suffolk on the 7th of May 2015. Due to high demand, the Thursday morning has now been opened, with targets being set by John Bidwell and John Dyson. This is going to be a great event. There are only 150 spaces left. Visit cpsa.co.uk. The Rosini Classic 2015 has been confirmed and it is bigger and better than ever before with a new layout and new prizes. The competition consists of a 20-bird Euro Sporting. There are four qualifying events throughout the year and six shooters will qualify for the final from each event. Details from oxfordguncompany.co.uk Last episode we asked, what is the iconic start date of the grouse shooting season? The splendid second, the terrific 20th, the glorious 12th. The answer is C, the glorious 12th, of course it is. And the winner is James Farrer. He gets a year's subscription to Sporting Shooter magazine. Well, what a year it's going to be. More than £50,000 worth of prizes are up for grabs in Schools Challenge events, and all you have to do is be under 21 to enter. Top prize is this £12,000 car, which one shooter will win before the end of the year. So how do you get involved? That's easy. TSC runs events throughout the summer at the Oxford Gun Company and further afield. As well as the Breeden Weekend on the first weekend in May, it will be at the CLA Game Fair on the 31st of July to the 2nd of August at Harwood House in Yorkshire. Then August is devoted again to the Novice Schools Challenge. 
TSC's Winter Series is one of the last events of the year. Then the Grand Final is in December, where there will be Browning and Rosini shotguns and Bowman traps worth £8,000 up for grabs for the top five winners as well as the car. Did we mention the car? about how to get involved go to theschoolschallenge.co.uk well we're back in a couple of weeks please click on the web link please click on the youtube link we'll see you then